When you purchase a home, normally you're going to need financing, and there are different loan types. Your lender would normally go over these loan types with you, but I'll give you an overview so you understand what they are. The first is conventional. This is your standard loan, normally requires a down payment. The other one is FHA. This is a government loan, however, the government doesn't actually loan the money, they insure it. So if there's a default involved, there will be some payment from the government. And this has its uses. It's going to have mortgage insurance, however, if you have gaps of an, in employment or perhaps gift funds or so forth, this would be an appropriate loan for you. And again, you would discuss this with your lender. The last one is VA. VA is 100% financing. And again, this is a government loan, but the government doesn't actually loan the money. On this one, they guarantee it. They say, hey, this guy served in our armed forces. He's good for it. And you get 100% financing. That would involve a funding fee. However, this is a very strong loan type. Now, if you have a property that has damage, there's options there as well. You could do what's called a Home Styles loan, which is a Fannie Mae loan product, Federal National Mortgage Association, or you could do an FHA loan, which is called a 203K. Both of these loans, the way they work is you're going to have a purchase price, then they're going to work out what's called an after repair value, which is up here. The appraisal will go out and determine how much the property's worth after repairs. Now, a contractor is actually going to bid on the property. They're going to get the bids together. They go to the appraiser. The appraiser goes out to the property and it'll establish the after repair value. Now, here's the trick you need to have the purchase price, after repair value, and the cost of the repairs plus reserves have to be able to fit in there. If they don't fit, the loan's not going to work. If they do fit, you could take a property that's beat up, have a nice property, perhaps some equity, and that is an option. Now, there's some lenders that will allow with conventional loan products and sometimes the government loans, they will allow what's called an escrow holdback as well for minor repairs. Now, just a heads up, if you do get one of these rehab loans, the home styles, two or three K or an escrow holdback, you want to work with a lender that does these all day long because they're tricky, they have a lot of nuances, and you don't want a newbie that just cutting your teeth and doing these loans. You don't want to work with them. You want to work with somebody who has a lot of experience. If you have any questions or need a referral, please talk to us. We're more than happy to refer somebody to you. We're also talk to your lender to make sure they have experience. Either way, we'll help you out with this.